Previously on X Men. I'm gonna clean this up and repair it, and then put it back in. Hopefully, that'll fix some of the noise issues that were coming previously from it. I'm gonna start by first just taking the stuff apart, taking all the games out. And I'm gonna have to take this guy off, I think. So I'm getting the screws inside here. Unplug all these guys, take all the stuff out. Yeah. I've taken the chassis for the sound amp out. Gonna clean this guy up a bit. The capacitors on it look okay. I think it's working. I don't know if there's any problem with the fuses, but it's dirty. I want to at least clean it. Wow, look how dirty this thing was. And the speakers were not plugged in. That's why there was no sound. So we can plug that in after we put get this all cleaned up. And yeah, the monitor chassis very very dirty uh we'll take it out examine the caps make sure everything looks all right we don't need to replace anything and then we'll clean it up the back of this i think i'm gonna clean all those up yeah really dirty nobody has opened this in decades first things first gotta discharge the monitor with our trusty little discharge tool here that we've been using make sure you always do this guys um Always make sure this is discharged. Don't wanna risk killing yourself. And make sure you know what you're doing. I don't recommend doing this unless you're semi-confident in what you're doing. Now, I don't know about you, but there's just something so satisfying about cleaning up super old, dirty, dirty electronics. Look how clean that is now. This is all black. Everything, this thing was even red, it was all black. Audio amp now also spick and span clean. Yeah. Got all that dirt out, nice and clean, gonna let it dry now. Nice and clean now. I even took the speakers out of their sockets. Make sure I got the insides. Nice and clean. Just let them dry now, these speakers look Decent, just like you know, regular arcade speakers. Don't think we need to replace them, we just need to plug it in, then it'll work. I got the front panel off now. Uh, I thought initially I didn't have to maybe take that off, but I think I do because I gotta get in here. See, the water's not coming out. I need to get the monitor out and then I'm gonna clean the inside here. Uh, the guy over here then clean all that. I managed to get the monitor out of the arcade by itself. It's pretty clean now. That was the only way I could get this thing oriented so I can clean the inside well. So now you can see all that gunk is out of there. You know, everything nice and clean. So I like Fill the whole thing flush with water and then drained it all out. So I had to put it on the side in order to do that. But yeah, everything is pretty much clean now. All I have to do is now make it dry and then put it back together. Here it is, all taken apart and all clean. I did take that light bulb, the old light bulb out. 
from here. I don't think it was working and I just picked up a new one. Uh, hopefully it fits well. Looks like there's enough space. It's a little bigger than the old one, um, diameter wise, but same length. So that should get the light on top working again. And also everything else here is sitting here to dry. See all the pieces apart, the speakers back into its slots and they're all good to go. And then we can plug them in later and try it out.